What is up guys, welcome back, um, my name is Bucky, yada yada, welcome to your 37th PHP tutorial, yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, in the last tutorial what we did is we created a class called people, and in that class we created a name variable and a function called set name, and all this function did is it took this name and it changed it to, you know, whatever we want to, we'll learn that later on. So anyways, in this tutorial, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be dealing with something called objects. So go ahead and in your body, throw some PHP tags in there, and here's what you need to do. An object is pretty much a representation, or it's pretty much this. It's a way to access all those variables and functions in that class. So say for this. Say we made this huge program, and not only did it have this people class in it, but it also had an animals class, a uh, cars class, a uh, places class, a uh, computers class. We need an object that's only going to access the things in this people class. We don't need the rest of that crap right now. We only want to work with this class right here. So let's go ahead and create an object right now. Um, go ahead and it's just like any other variable. I'm going to name mine person1. Go ahead and set it equal to the keyword new and then type the name of the class you want to use and our class is called people people looks kinda weird once you look at it, it kinda reminds me of pineapple in a way but anyways go ahead and type the name of your class and then go ahead and type um, empty braces and I'll be covering again like I said these dumb keywords and these other signs these braces and stuff I'll be covering those later on but anyways in order to create an object you go ahead and just make any variable and set it equal to the keyword new and then the name of your class with empty parentheses. And now this person one variable can access any of these variables and any of these functions in this class. So like I said, if you had another class called animals and another one called cars, you knew that this variable was going to access the one the people class so that's why we need to create objects to ask access blah, blah, access the things in that class so now we have a key to access anything in this people class through the variable person one so let's go ahead and do that right now let's go ahead and echo something out on the screen in order to access anything in that class go ahead and type the name of your object which is person one and then go ahead and put that little dumb operator minus greater than sign and now go ahead and type the name of the variable you want to access so let's go ahead and type name and what's this going to do right here well it's going to say alright what object are you using person one which is pretty much your people class so pretty much an object is basically the same thing as the class so when we use person one we say alright we want to work with the people class now what do we want to echo inside of it and that's just this name variable but check this out whenever we created this class we didn't set the name equal to anything the name isn't equal to anything until we call this function so whenever we call this right here nothing is going to display and actually here's what I'm going to do Whoa, definitely messed that up. Break, and just like that. So now what this echo is going to do is it's going to echo nothing at all because our name is equal to anything at all. So now what we have to do is use this person one variable to, which is pretty much an object, to call the set name function and set this name equal to something so again anytime you want to access anything in this class you have to use this object this object is like a key for that class so now we use the object and instead of accessing a variable we want to access this function called set name so set name and what do we want to again this function takes one parameter and sets it equal to the name variable so I'm gonna go ahead and pass in Bucky and that looks pretty good right there so anyways this is gonna echo a blank line this is gonna say alright in our class people 
we want to use the function set name and we want to pass in the value Bucky so it's going to go up to the class people it's going to grab the function set name and it's going to pass it in Bucky and it's going to say alright now the name variable is equal to Bucky which is my name so now once we echo this again it's now going to echo Bucky so at first your name wasn't equal to anything at all and then we called the function set name and passed in Bucky and now once we echo that it's going to be equal to the value Bucky so let me go ahead and refresh this hold on a second and just copy all those yes and refresh that alright here we go so anyways yeah, I don't like to use uh, like XAMPP or WAMPP anymore. I just use it straight from, you know, one of the little websites I bought. So that's what I was doing right there. So anyways, you can see right now, here's my website. At first, it echoed out nothing, a blank line right here because the name wasn't equal to anything at all. And then we called the function, set name, and then it echoed out Bucky because then the name variable was equal to Bucky. So let's take a step back and recap one last time and cover everything we just learned because I know it can be really confusing. A class is pretty much a way to organize data and by data I mean your functions and your variables. So we made a class called people and inside of that class called people we made two things. One was a variable called name and one was a function that changed that name. So in order to access that class you need to make something called an object and an object is pretty much a way to access all the stuff inside of a class so we made an object called person1 which gave us access to everything inside of the class people now now that we had access to that class the first thing we decided to do with our object was echo out the variable name however right now that name wasn't equal to anything it was just a plain old variable so that's why it echoed out a blank line but then we said alright now that we can do something with this class let's go ahead and call that set name function and set that variable equal to the word Bucky so now the variable name is equal to the word Bucky and now when we echo it out again it's gonna echo the word Bucky so anyways the basic thing that you have to take away from this tutorial is a class is a way to organize your variables and your functions anytime you want to use any of this crap you need you need to make something called an object and with this object you can use any of this stuff in here so that's the basics of object oriented PHP um, the basics of you know classes fields objects and in the next couple tutorials I'm gonna be covering all of these dumb little keywords and maybe throw in some more variables maybe make some more functions who knows I don't even know what I'm gonna be doing so anyways it's gonna be sweet and you're gonna learn more about object oriented PHP and definitely if you wanna get a job um, using PHP this is what everyone uses now classes and objects and object oriented coding and you're gonna see why it's useful later on but for now I guess you guys are just going to have to wait. So thank you guys for watching. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.